All right, everyone, we'll go ahead and get started with reliever Lucas Gilbreth. Danielle, why don't you go ahead and kick us off? Hey, Lucas. It seems with each outing that we see, your confidence is growing and growing. Are you at a point now where you feel comfortable pitching up here at the major league level? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's one of those things where I'm never going to have it all figured out, and I think a lot of older guys here would be the first ones to tell you that. But, you know, every time we go out there, it feels more and more comfortable, and I feel like I'm, you know, getting used to it and learning to pitch in some of these situations, which is all that I can ask for. What's been the most important thing you've learned as you've gone out through the season? Um, for me, I think it's just been getting comfortable with the different situations. I mean, as a lefty especially, I've been thrown into a variety of roles, situations, go get this one lefty, you know, be ready for this guy. I think for me, it's just been learning to prepare myself mentally and physically for all those situations and try not to be surprised um, when my name is called and just being ready at all times. Thank you. I right, will go to Thomas Harding. Yes, uh, you talked about trying not to be surprised at any situations, but when you're trying to get a lefty out and he fouls the pitch off and it's ruled a wild pitch, how prepared are you for that? And how, did, how were you able to kind of get back on the horse at that point? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's not something you prepare for by any means. And, you know, I, I sat there and I think a lot of people saw it. I was a little bit surprised when they uh, came together and said they didn't see it. But at, after that point, it's just kind of back to square one, try and execute a pitch and try and get it out. Did you have a feeling coming into today or did they prepare you? Hey, we're going to use a lot of you guys in the bullpen. And if it's a close game, be ready. Did they come to you this morning with that? Or was, was it something that maybe just from seeing the usage of other guys that you knew you'd get a shot today? For me, it was more uh, seeing the usage of other guys and then uh, seeing how many lefties they had in the lineup, where the lefties were in the lineup, I think that's kind of usually how I gauge, you know, how likely it is when I'm going to throw, where I'm going to throw, what situation. So today I was trying to be ready for anything. And, you know, the situation ended up being a tight game. And, you know, I was just trying to be prepared to do my job in that situation. Yeah, after you got the pop-up from uh, NOLA to end the seventh, um, you're looking at the lineup, two lefties there. I mean, how excited were you going to the dugout? Like, yeah, I'm in the eighth inning of this game. Yeah, absolutely. I think for me, it's it's been, you know, that's kind of my role this year. And that's something I've been trying to learn how to do. So it's always exciting when I see, you know, an inning coming up with two lefties, left, right, left, or left, left, right, that kind of thing. I try and kind of mentally prepare myself for those situations and, you know, try and do my job, get lefties out. Thanks, Lucas. Does anybody else have anything for Lucas? All right, Larry Patrick, go ahead and finish this up. Yeah, Lucas, what are you seeing that, uh, the difference when you're coming into uh, pitch in the majors versus your experiences at AAA and, and, and places like that as far as uh, having to uh, face hitters and knowing how to pitch to them? I think physically it's very comparable. I think the biggest difference lies in the preparation and, you know, the mental approach that hitters at the big league level take. I mean, a guy like, you know, Machado, for example, has played however many years and seen you know, thousands and thousands of pitches. So anything that I do up there, he's probably seen before. So to me, the biggest transition is kind of learning what they're looking for, learning how to pitch to my strengths while also attacking their weaknesses and uh, just being confident in my stuff. How important is it uh, with the coaches uh, around when you have uh, an outing that you're not as happy with versus one like you did today? Yeah, I think between the coaches and having some of the veteran guys around, it's it's good to have people around you that can give you kind of that constructive criticism. And even sometimes, you know, the game of baseball, sometimes the ball just doesn't bounce your way. So it's nice to have those guys around, to, you know, to kind of talk you through the situation. You can kind of discuss with them, well, I was trying to do this, but this happened. And, you know, a lot of these older guys like Bard, for example, has been through it so many times. He'll say, sit there and say, well, here's what you should have done, or, you know, you did the right thing. It was just bad luck. And, you know, it's nice to have those guys around and especially, you know, our coaching staff having big league experience as well, being able to say, you know, they've been there, they've done those things and they can help out quite a bit. All right. Thank you.